to be a great people, Kalel. They wish to be. They only lack the light to show the way. Hey everyone, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. A little bit something different because I did not shoot an intro for this video, so we're going to do that now. And I'm going to take the opportunity to show you my Deneen collection, which is here. Um, I got a really cool one just recently, one you should definitely be on the lookout for. Uh, this will also give me the opportunity to test out this new camera, which I'm going to be using, um, hopefully, to do some more garage sale and or estate sale um videos hopefully we will see how things go i was trying to do some garage sales this weekend it was a little tough um because it was just nothing out there we stopped at one and it was pretty poor you know i was looking on on craigslist there was really nothing available uh not too many people use there's a garage sale finder um website that not really too many people around here use so uh yeah you know it's very hit or miss around my areas but we'll attempt to find some i got a camera just for that i also got a camera because um i'm going to be doing just some like raw footage on a another random channel that i have you know just uh, me just out and about not really any editing or anything like that i'll link it down below if you guys are interested don't really you know need to subscribe to it or not i'm just somewhere to dump um, some extra footage in case you know people just want to watch me walking around looking for stuff so uh, but uh let me show you this denim collection really quick i'm gonna flip the camera around just give me one second okay so here's the denim collection here i mean this isn't the whole collection <laughs> it's just a small portion of the collection i got cabinets full of denim mugs right now but um really cool mugs i mean this is just the classic style the classic um look to them uh, they'll be stamped on the bottom sometimes they'll just have um, like this one here i think See, it just has that one, just the symbol there. I really like the purple on this one. Really nice colors. This is one I actually paid full price for. Um, $25. This was over in Anaheim. Really cool mug. I mean, $25 though. I mean, compared to like $2 typically, $5 the most for these mugs are what I find them at. Or what I find them priced at when I'm at Goodwill or um, Savers, anything like that. Never found them at a garage sale or anything, so Goodwill and Saber is primarily where I found these. I mean, look at the. Here's another style of one, Big Sur. That's in California, obviously. Uh, again, there's the markings on the bottom. Really cool, just nice, well-made mugs. Um, now I'm going to show you. Here's another. This is a large, like this is like a Stein. Uh, typically, so like these ones here, probably maybe ten-ish dollars. What we're looking at this one here, maybe a little bit more. Just because it's a larger mug, maybe about $15 on that one. This one here, probably closer to $30 or $40. This is more like a Stein, like a beer Stein, what this uh, typically is, obviously, because it came from a Renaissance fair. And um, But really cool. Um, I have, I, uh, you know, when I know it's going to be a long day, I'll pour coffee into this. It's a nice one. I really like that one. Uh, but the one you really want to be on the lookout for, and I did not get this on video, is the Bones Coffee. And... You know, there's the markings on the bottom. Anything Bones Coffee. This right here last sold for $50. None currently listed right now with the sharp pattern. There are other Bones Coffee ones. Um, the other one you want to look for is uh, Death Wish Coffee. That one does also go for... It goes for, it used to go for over $100. I think it goes for about $80-ish now. Um, there are a few Bones Coffee that go for up to the $100 mark. But the one with the shark on it is about... $50. I can probably push it a little bit higher because there's none other listed. So really cool. However, this is going in the collection. As you can see, this is a little bit taller than typical. And there are, they do make larger ones. They, they do have different other, you know, other shapes as well too that I have. But this is the primary one that you're going to find, the primary shape that you're going to find. So really cool. You know, like destination places, you know, nothing. They do have some, you know, main attractions, but a lot of like little uh, restaurants or bed and breakfast those types of places really here's another really quick here's a couple more things i did not get on camera um i'm, I'm working on listing some of these items not the dinning monks they're not getting listed these are all in my collection including the bow oh no don't drop that including the bones coffee that's going in the collection this is also going to the collection but 3.99 uh this i picked up at the goodwill I mean, you all you saw the tag so but it was not new so it was open it's missing one bag and the cool thing about this one though is this is the figure that you want it goes for 25 dollars on its own so it's in bag number three what's missing bag number one which is rocket 
which is not that valuable. So, pretty cool. I still get to get this figure. This is going to go in the collection, too, because I do not have a Ronin, the Accuser. I want to put that in my collection, so that's where that's going. For $3.99, I mean, I'm willing to pay that all day. A couple other mugs I picked up off camera. Disney Grand Californian. This is a pre one of the, you know, this is the premium hotel at Anaheim. If you're here, it costs a lot of money to stay there, but it's really nice because it drops you off right inside uh, California Adventure. So, really cool mug. Uh, last sold was about two years ago for 50 bucks. I'm guessing I might push it a little bit higher. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, last sold for $25. I'm going to list it for 50 bucks because I think I can push it a little bit higher. None other listed of this mug. Really cool. Made in USA as well, too. Another cool mug, and I know I just talked about it in a video, I think on my other channel. Uh, yeah, my What Soul channel, Gem Shorts. Anthropology. I know I said I'm not picking up Anthropology mugs anymore, but this was a really cool one. I just couldn't pass up. Pretzel Dog. <laughs> so, really cool. We're going to get this listed as well, too. Hopefully, it sells for around $25 is what I'm looking for. Otherwise, let's get over to the Goodwill. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Went to the cart. Went to the carts already. And let's come over here, check out the games. Okay, so music's kind of loud. It was a little crowded over in the um, toy aisle. This is the this out. That's kind of fun. Is it eleven eighty nine or is it four fifty nine? <laughs> Two tags on that thing. Let me go ahead. Now these are little sound machines. I mean, we have miscellaneous and then we have small household. Hmm. Well, we'll take it to the front. We'll see what price they give us. Um. Okay. So. Definitely not finding too, too much right off the bat. Oh, let's check these. Is someone playing music here? Someone's playing music on a speaker or something. So we gotta contend with not just the music being played overhead, but somebody else is playing music. <laughs> uh, sporting this section is... Okay, let's go this way. There's a lot of talking going on over there. Loud talking. Okay, let's go this way. Let's check out these end caps. Let's get to the... There seems to be a lot of contention going on in the toy aisle. I don't know. Never seen those people before. You know, you get used to all the usuals and everything as you're... More often you come gonna see all the usual people you know usual resellers people coming in looking you know shopping for themselves everybody pretty much has a schedule you know everybody's there's a routine so when somebody's you know when people come that are not you know typical we all know we all know this Got an interesting little tag to it, but it's, it's nothing, it's nothing that great. Um, the wood's always tough. The wood is always a tough section. It's not it's hard to find anything in these wood aisles. Um, but we do, we do find stuff. So you always want to check. Sometimes things can be misplaced. That's always a thing as well too. Okay, let's go down here. We're contending with... Contending with a lot of things this morning. Okay, here's the Christmas section. Let's see what they have here. These little houses. What are these? Are Oh, yeah, these aren't going to be that great. Yeah, these little, like, if they're not Department 56 or if they're not um, Lee Max, generally they're not going to be worth it, but it's always worth taking a look, look them up. All kinds of different ones, and down here, what do we look, look for? Easy Jemmy. 
Applause. Applause is a decent older brand. That's kind of cool. It's unique. Um, where do they have it priced at though? Seven dollars. I might take a look at that because some of these vintage um, Christmas stuff can do really well. We got the dancing chihuahua. That I don't think is a Jemmy. J G E M M Y is the name you're looking for. How about a relatively small. What is this? Santa's key. Okay. okay but nothing else there. It's a small. That is a small um, Christmas area. Oh, it's a unique little ruffle. It's a unique. I mean, it's frosted glass, which isn't necessarily unique. This ruffle is kind of what is drawing my attention, how delicate it's done. It's thin. I mean, the overall piece isn't necessarily thin, but the ruffle part is pretty thin. I'm intrigued enough to put it in the cart and do some more research. I see some of them. Um, let me put this in the cart first. I see... Some of these now these you typically do not pick up they're not worth it however um the subject matter is means everything to these generally these touristy ones you're not gonna really mess with anything like hello kitty i've sold hello kitty ones before um anything like pop culture marvel does well star wars if you see any of those you know with that imagery on the inside I would pick those up at the right price, and the right price is usually around Goodwill, two dollars and ninety nine cent, two dollars eighty nine cents or less. This is a very, very interesting mug here. Oh, I didn't talk about going through the cart. I want to scan this just because it's so interesting, unique. Oh man, they're priced separately, so um, we'll take a look at that. Um, but I did go through the carts because they had carts out already. And some of these like old um, sports game, board games can do pretty well. This is an Ikea backpack. I don't know what Ikea backpacks go for. So I'm, I picked it up. It's in great condition. I'm going to look it up. I'm also going to scan this and try to figure out what this is a little bit later. This has an interesting look to it. I've never seen before. So see, everything's always different. Every time you come here, even like the... Even the little um, white noise machine just got like a, you know, I don't think it's a sticker. I think that's actually what it comes with. Camouflage motif. I mean, I've never seen a camouflage motif one. Usually they're in white or beige or black. So, okay. Let's keep moving. We're going to look up this uh, applause thing and see what that goes for as well, too. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're over here by the books, and I am on the lookout for a new... For a new album, or sorry, right, I'm more of the CD of the soundtrack to the movie Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Um, again, many you guys know I've talked about this before, but I am a child of the 80s, and I'm old, you know, it was one of the old movie I saw, maybe I watched, the movie I liked. And the soundtrack is really a killer 80s soundtrack, and you can find it streaming, but so I was looking for it streaming. This is what for not only I was looking for the music, I was looking for the um, uh, for the uh, for the try on. You know, I described to Amazon and YouTube, so they have the music, but it's not a. You have to go find it individually. It's not in a soundtrack. So then I started thinking, well, okay, that's interesting. If <clears throat> sometimes when albums are not streaming, they could have some value. Um, if you had to find it streaming, everybody would listen to it streaming. So I couldn't find it. So I went ahead and looked it up on eBay, and sure enough, the CD of Girls Just Want to Have Fun goes for about $40, which is, you know, kind of good for a CD. Pretty good for a CD. The album goes for upwards of 80 The or the I should say the record, like record, goes for upwards of... Um, 80 to 
hundred dollars. So I'm gonna be on the lookout not just for myself, but also for um, uh, the resale as well too. So definitely, I've purchased um, CDs and everything from artists that are not streaming before, and you know, music that I used to listen to, and it definitely costs quite a bit. So keep an eye out for it. Keep an eye out for that one. And keep an eye out for other, other, oh, we already went down here. Keep an eye out for other uh, CDs or albums that are just not on streaming services. Pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, Pardon so me. Sorry. That's okay. No problem. Uh -huh. Probably pick that up. The price five fifty nine. I'm gonna look it up. Just that's five fifty nine. If it was under five dollars, it's a definite pickup. Okay. UFO flying ball. Oh no. 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 Okay, this is where we're at next. The miscellaneous pottery and or glass items. Mice and, uh, and elephants. I don't know if that's a real thing. If mice are, or elephants are really afraid of mice. I'm, I know it's been portrayed in in film and cartoons, but I, I don't know. I have, I really doubt that that's a thing. I doubt the elephant would even see the mouse before it crushes it. I don't know, a little, uh, little trinket box. Probably it'll do a lot better if it has what was, typically these come with something. Mm, yeah, it's kind of chipped there. I don't like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. No problem. Yeah, it's okay. There you go. <laughs> the aisles are getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> no, no worries. Okay. As you saw, they're still bringing out stuff here. All kinds of, all kinds of stuff. Okay, we're going to keep looking through here. I might glance over at the carts again and see what's over there. I mean, get a little bit of furniture really quick before I head to the carts. I mean, definitely some older furniture, but still in great condition. I mean, look at this little, like, you know, pie table here. In yeah, good condition. That's in pretty. That's pretty solid. Wow. They got some great stuff out here today. Okay, so we're just doing a cart check real quick. This one definitely gonna put back. I thought there was something that it's sealed, but no. Um, we got the applause guy, which is like 20 to 30. That's what we're gonna pay for that. Um, then, oh, we're picked up some silver over here. Got some Oneida silverware right there where I'm pointing to. So it's $10 for the whole thing. We should do pretty well with that. Um, Oh, oh, dropping stuff over here. And in the basketball game, definitely look out for these. But 30 to 40-ish, so that's definitely a good price. Um, I might open it up just to make sure it looks somewhat complete, even though I have no idea what's going to go in there. This bag goes for about $20. I don't know if I'm going to pick this up still. That's the brand. It does a lot better if it's brand new. This mug right here should go for about $25. Brand new goes for double that, $50. So keep your eye out for that one. Um, the sand one, it's not really anything. We're going to put that back. Okay, but let's keep moving here. Let's see what else we can get. Yeah. I'm going to check these end caps and look in the back. There's the three students golfing. I wonder what that, let me look that up really quick. So I said earlier we're looking for Jimmy. There it is. 
However, that's the price. And three stooges. So it goes for about 30 to 40. We're not going to pick that up. It's not going to be worth it. Let's look like that for Tesla glass I keep talking about. But they make so many knockoffs now, it's kind of hard to tell. Cap. Um, all right, we're approaching the uh, target. Hmm. All right, let's find another aisle. Okay, everybody, we're heading on out of here. We, you know, getting pretty busy, jam pack, and not really finding too much. But this is gonna be the score of the day. It's completely, it's complete, it's completely, it's complete, and um, should be about sixty or so dollars. So not bad. It's only six thirty nine. So not a bad price to pay. And we're gonna make some decent money on it. But let's go ahead and um, you guys, we're gonna head to another Goodwill, but you guys will be uh, seeing the end of this video. Thank you.